Hello everyone, happy Thousand Year Door Day, and welcome to the seventh and final episode of Partners of the Week. Today, I will be showcasing Miss Mouse, the optional partner of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Miss Mouse is definitely my least favorite partner in Thousand Year Door, but I think she's an interesting character personality wise. I think it's cool that they develop her as a badge thief that collects badges to sell at her shop in Roadport, and she even appears a few times during the story. She's also Little Mouser, a species that originally appeared in Yoshi's Island, so I think that's pretty interesting. But generally, I don't find her to be that useful in the overworld and in battle, but she's still an interesting partner regardless. Before you can unlock Miss Mal's, you meet her a few different times during the story, as she crosses paths with you in different areas. You first meet her in Hooktail Castle, where she introduces herself, mentions that she's a badge thief, and flirts with Mario. It's a funny little interaction, and she even gives you a hint about Hooktail's weakness. She also appears at the Great Tree during Chapter 2, and then in the storage room of the Glitz Pit during Chapter 3. She could also be found in Rogueport, the lovely house of badges, as she helps run it with another little Mauser. While she doesn't really have a developed story arc for her character, I still like the fact that she appears throughout the game before you unlock her. She also does have some aspects to her character that does make her interesting, as she's a thief that goes around to different areas finding badges to sell in her shop. It's a cool little story behind how the badge shop works in Roadport in-universe, and it also is a hint towards her Kiss Thief move, the only remotely interesting move of her moveset. Aside from her appearances in Thousand Year Door and in the remake, she also has a few other game appearances. Like the other partners, in Super Paper Mario, she appears in a photo at Mario's house, and has a catch card that is obtainable after beating the Duel of 100. But unlike other partners, she has one of the most unusual references in another game. Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix actually includes her theme as one of the songs in that game. While she doesn't appear in the game itself, it's still a really cool little reference. Now let's talk about her gameplay abilities, and this is definitely where she's seen as one of the weakest partners in the game. Her overworld ability is to sniff out useful objects like coins, badges, star pieces, items, and hidden blocks. I never really found this ability to be that useful though, since it really just hints you towards them rather than uncovering them like Watt's abilities. Especially since in the remake, since you can find star pieces by hammering the ground to find flippable panels. She's also not very good in battle either, and I never really found her to be that useful. Her base move, Love Slap, slaps the enemy three times and pierces defense. Even though it pierces defense, the problem with this move is that it barely does any damage and by the time you unlock Mal's, you'll likely already have badges that deal with defense. Her other base move is Kiss Thief, which steals a badge or item from an enemy. This move is actually pretty neat, since it's sometimes cool to grab a useful badge or item from an enemy. But the problem is that it's extremely situational, as the enemy has to be carrying something. Her super rank move is Tease, which makes the enemies dizzy, which is also something that I've never found to be useful. Her ultra rank move is Smooch, which heals 10 HP for Mario. The problem is that it takes 10 FP though, so it's really just point swap, but it swaps 10 points instead, making it not very good. So now that we've looked at Miss Mouse's moves, Joe Pro will show how you can unlock her, and he also gives some of his thoughts on her as well. Hey everybody, my name is Joe Pro. I love the Paper Mario series and cannot wait for the Thousand Year Doors imminent release. As part of this retrospective at the game's wonderful cast of iconic characters, I wanted to do a little deep dive into Mario's only optional ally, Miss Mouse. Miss Mouse has an interesting history as her species has changed names a few times. Originally appearing in Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island, the little mouser creature was then brought over into Paper Mario 64 as the Nomad Mice, and finally into the Thousand Year Door as creatures renamed to Squeaks. 
Miss Mouse can either join Mario as his sixth or seventh partner, depending on if you complete her trouble before or after adding Bobbery to your ensemble. To unlock her, you'll simply need to take on the Trouble Center task from a mysterious individual who later turns out to be our lovely badge thief. She'll request you find a hidden badge in Hooktail's castle and deliver it to her, and upon doing so, we'll join your party. While her flirtatious presence does sometimes annoy Goombella, Miss Mouse does help the team track down hidden badges and star pieces with her keen sense of smell and treasure hunting skills. Her helpfulness and battle is unfortunately a bit lacking, however. She has four total moves, Love Slap, Kiss Thief, Tease, and Smooch, but none are all that worthwhile. At least, not in my opinion. Were she available earlier in the game, she would have some merits in battle, but her presence is too little, too late. Nonetheless, Miss Mouse stands out as the only optional party member from the first two games and a solid character in her own right. She seems to have a thing for Mario and is well set up throughout the adventure with several short inclusions into the plot. Next time you play the Thousand Year Door, make sure to bring Miss Mouse along for the adventure. Thank you, Reese, for having me stop by your channel. If anyone's interested in checking me out, I'm on YouTube at JoePro Gaming. I've just wrapped up a huge project that is a stop-motion recreation of Hooktail's boss fight, which should be live on my channel right around now. I would love for you all to check that out and to see what you think. Thanks so much. Back over to you, Reese. So that's Miss Mouse. She's definitely seen as one of the weakest partners in the game. She does have an interesting story behind her character, with the fact that she steals badges and sells them in Rogueport, but I feel like she's kind of a waste of a partner since you have to go out of your way to unlock her, but she's still like a fun little character to unlock, especially since you can steal badges from enemies, which can be pretty useful like every once in a blue moon. But yeah, so now that we've looked at Miss Mouse, we will reveal the winners of the Happy Lucky Giveaway. And I will notify the winners as well, so if you won, make sure to check your YouTube notifications. But yeah. Hiya! I'm the Lucky Babam, and we're gonna announce the winners of the Happy Lucky Giveaway. The first place winner is Glitchy Guru, who won a digital copy of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. And the second place winner is. Coppice Labins 1354, who won a custom Paper Mario Amiibo. Reese will notify you that you won. Thank you all for participating, and I hope you'll enjoy the game. Yeah, maybe stop by and say hi to me in Rogue Pot.